Welcome, everybody, to another edition of TalkingWithHeroes.com talk show program. I'm Bob Calvert, your host, and I want to welcome everybody back. And uh, we're here still in Pasadena, California. We're at the Soldiers Angels Executive Leadership Conference. And for those of you who've been following this program for a few weeks, uh, we started out here with our February 23rd live broadcast that aired again the following Sunday night. It's now in archives. And then we had a second hour that aired on March 2nd. And it's also now in our 24-hour, seven-day-a-week archive program. And normally we don't do as many interviews at events like this, but there are over 150 wonderful people from all across America to came here to get together and meet and talk about what they've been doing to support the troops, their families, the wounded, and uh, all kinds of wonderful programs. And so we're, we have this program, and we have one more that will follow the following week. And again, I want to talk directly to those of you who are Soldiers Angels volunteers across the country, 200,000 strong. And uh, you like what you're hearing? What we're doing is asking you to tell other people about this program. Think about it. 200,000 people sending care packages, writing letters. If each of you told five people, we now have a million people hearing about this. Take that one more step, another five, five million. You know, that's how we're getting this, the stories out across the country. And again, to remind everybody, Soldiers Angels was our main sponsor for my last trip to Iraq. And all those programs are on the website, talkingwithheroes.com, under third Iraq interviews. And if you haven't listened to those yet, please do so. The military we interviewed, the Iraqis, the civilians, they all want these stories to get out across America. And you all can become the media, all of our listeners. Get the word out. So anyway, we're, this program, we're starting out in uh, what they're calling the Soldiers Angels Museum. In a little while, we're kind of going to walk around a little bit. And I also want to mention Alan Gray, owner of Newsblaze.com, once again, is filming behind the camera. Hi, Alan. And uh, we're going to start out this program, though, with some of the hardest interviews I ever have to do. I, I keep hoping I never have to do another one like this. Um, but unfortunately, some of our troops have paid the ultimate sacrifice. And um, we've had some Gold Star moms, Gold Star dads on this program before. And we have a gentleman here at the Soldiers Angels Convention who is a Gold Star dad. His name is Robert Stokely, and his son who passed away in Iraq, Sergeant Michael James Stokely. So I want to welcome to Talking With Heroes, Robert Stokely. Welcome, sir. Thank you, Bob. Now, I wish we could have uh, met on different circumstances, but I, I appreciate you taking the time uh, tonight to talk with us a little bit. And uh, why don't you tell the American people a little bit about yourself and your family and your son? Well, we're just a typical American family, you know, we work, we, we go to church, we just have friends, family, and uh, Mike, as we called him, wanted to join the military, he joined as a junior in high school, went to boot camp that summer as a National Guard recruit, back for his senior year, then went to advanced training after he graduated high school, and then from there he was just regular National Guard until he was called up and deployed. Uh, he actually entered Iraq late May of 2005 with part of uh, the 48th Brigade of the Georgia National Guard, the largest Georgia National Guard deployment ever. So he was based out of Fort Benning then? Uh, actually, they deployed out of Fort Stewart. They were uh, attached to the 3rd ID at that time. Okay, and how long was he over there? Well, he died exactly 90 days upon leaving the country to go to Iraq. He left on a... a, a May 15th, and he uh, entered Kuwait on the 16th of May when they arrived, and he died on August 16th, three months later. Well, I personally, and I'm sure everybody listening, we're, we're really sorry for your loss. And uh, it's always sad when we, when we lose another young man or young woman. Well, you know, it, it's tough being in this position. I won't put it any other way. It's an unnatural event for a parent to bury a child. And, uh, you know, as I tell people, it's what I've come to term a special privilege of sacrifice. There are those who throughout the beginning of our country and every time since and will for many hundreds of years, hopefully to come, who will be willing to stand up 
and uh, give their life for our country. It's a sacrifice no parent, no family wants, no soldier wants, if you really were honest about it. But if we do not bear it as families, then who should we pass it to to bear for us? And it was our turn to be a part of that privileged sacrifice. I wish I had my boy back. He was a great man, but, you know, I didn't have a choice about that. I only have a choice about where I go from here. And the choice I've made is rather than blame and bitterness, as some have chosen to do, I'm going to remember with honor the sacrifice he gave, and I'm going to uh, make sure that people know that I was proud of him, that our family was proud of him, and that, yes, we miss him, we wish we had him back, but it was our turn to do our part for the United States of America. Wow. I'm always amazed when I, when I talk to Gold Star parents, um, I, I truly appreciate what you're saying, and I hope all of America does too. Um, behind us here, we're actually standing at a, uh, was it a memorial here? Yes, uh, uh, Jeff Bader and uh, Patty Bader, this is the Soldiers Angels Museum, and they have this special section, it's a rather large display in a big room, but this, what we're looking at here is, is some of the fallen soldiers of which they've included Mike up here. I'm going to step aside so I don't get a shadow on it, but sure. this is Mike. This is what he looked like when he went to Iraq, uh, but then he surprised everybody. We didn't know it till after he was killed and we got this picture sent home. He and some of his buddies had grown a mustache and they were kind of letting their hair grow out. They were down in a tough place called Yusufia, which is part of the Triangle of Death, about 15, 20 miles south of Baghdad. And they kind of needed something to occupy their time, so they decided to kind of see how far they could get with growing their hair and all without getting their chops busted by the brass in Baghdad. And so uh, uh, we were surprised to see Mike with a mustache. But in this particular picture, he was standing beside the road. He's actually holding an IV bag for a soldier in another unit who's just been hit with an IED. And one of his best friends, Alden Williams, who was with a military medevac unit, came up on the scene to help with that soldier and found his best high school friend, Mike, standing there holding an IV bag. And, and Mike always smiled like that. And so he's just snapped a picture and that's what he sent home for Mike's funeral for us to have. I appreciate you sharing that with us. And so what do you, do you travel around now? Uh, like you're here at the Soldiers Angels Convention. Well, I, I don't do a lot of traveling because I, I, I have a full-time job. I'm a prosecutor and I run an office with staff and people and I have a very heavy court schedule. And uh, But I go to things like this when I can a couple of times a year. Patty Bader and I, you know, Patty reached out to our family when Mike died. That One of their programs that they do is they send a tree uh, to be planted at the family's home and uh, that's how I first got to know her. Obviously, we got a lot of uh, mail from Soldiers Angels to, you know, encourage us during our initial time of grief, and continuing each year to to show their support for us. As you heard earlier today, the Living Legends team, uh, and we really do appreciate that mail. But Patty invited me out, and, and and so I came and wanted to be a part of this, and you know, was so honored this morning to be surprised, you know, to be a part of the group, you know, that was given, you know. A, a, a certificate and award for being a part of Soldier's Angel. Why don't you look like directly at the camera here? And uh, Patty's not here right now. Jeff's not here. We're we're actually doing this interview with because you have to leave before we this whole next program completes. So why don't you look at the camera and talk to the people with Soldier's Angels and really all the people across America that are supporting our troops and the wounded and Gold Star parents like yourself. Talk about what that means to you. Well, it, it means so much. I mean, uh, it, it's it's a time of your life you can't imagine until you're there. I could have never imagined it. And, you know, to think that this organization, Soldiers Angels, started because one mom got a call from Iraq from her son saying there's some soldiers here who don't have anybody to write to them and who don't get any packages. And now it's 200,000 strong. It's all over the world. And to think that they reached out to us and... You know, I just am amazed by that process. It's a tremendous undertaking. Patty and Jeff commit so much of their time. They're so energetic. Uh, and so many people have gravitated to that. And as a father of a soldier killed in Iraq, I want Soldiers Angel as an organization and anyone listening to know how much that means to us that 
they thought of us and they have continued to think of us and it is a, a sense of encouragement not because we just get a note saying we're thinking of you but because they don't forget my son and that is one of the things that 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 i'm most fearful of is that one day people will soon enough have moved on with their lives and they will have forgotten him and that will be a day that he truly dies if that ever happens wow you said they reached out to you how'd they do that well i mean immediately upon the news of his death being posted uh various soldiers angels from all over the united states started writing cards you know simple cards uh just we're thinking of you we're here to support you and your family we will never forget those words are the most powerful words that that someone can say to me as a dad whose son was killed in war we will never forget again that's so important to us because you know for mike he has no children there will be no one a hundred years from now saying uh my great grandfather mike stokely uh, you know, if others do not remember him, he will be forgotten. And as I've heard said, a person never truly dies until they are forgotten. And he gave so much. You know, for us, for him, the cost of freedom is a lifetime of love. And all I want is for him to not just be forgotten. Thank you very much. Uh, what would you like to say to the men and women who are listening in Iraq, Afghanistan, and around the world? Be encouraged. You are not forgotten. You are remembered. You are supported. And I can tell you, having seen the support that my son has been given since his death, that he has not been forgotten, know that if you are called upon to give that sacrifice of your life, we will not forget you. And I say we, knowing that I mean myself and my family, we will remember you. We will remember your family. So be encouraged and thank you for serving and for all that you do. Thank you very much, Robert Stokely. It's been a privilege to uh, visit with you here and anything that we can do to help you or your family. Um, I may not be able to do it myself, but we have a lot of organizations. And of course, Soldiers Angels, I'm sure, is. Uh, taking very good care of your family. They have. Yeah. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, Bob. Thank you. Thank you. Folks, wow. We'll be back here shortly, and I believe we're going to uh, have somebody out here uh, to describe the museum. We're going to walk around a little bit, and then we'll have more uh, uh, short interviews on this uh, rest of this program and the next one so we can get a lot of people from around America that are here with Soldiers Angels to share with the rest of the country who they are and what they do and why they do it, why they're out here supporting our troops and their families. So we'll be right back on TalkingWithHeroes.com talk show program.